All right, so I want to thank you for coming because you know I think uh, it's a it's a unique opportunity you know for Czech and Slovaks and Slovenian I mean Slovenian uh, uh, Ruthenian Silesian and Moravian to celebrate one evening that uh, you know make a impact on you know the first republic born in 1918. I have a, a little presentation for you which will take a little bit about 30 minutes, but I want to explain uh, why we should do it. So as I said before. You know, I think the celebration needs to include five original regions of Czechoslovakia. And uh, here are the couple subjects that, you know, I will go through it. One is the introduction of myself, why I want to do it, and then why we should all do it together. Uh, I want to kind of show you or explain, you know, what audience, you know, I'm targeting, uh, how you can participate. There will be some promotional materials that I want to distribute throughout, you know, the next six months. Uh, and I will go into detail of a program. Uh, there's a prerequisite uh, for what needs to be done and certain promise, you know, to everybody involved. So let me start introduction. I want to introduce myself a little bit so you guys get an idea, you know, where I come from. Um, I came to the States in 1997, December 3rd, so it's been about 20 years now. I got the first uh, job in a uh, janitorial business in Rockport. Uh, I spent uh, about six to eight months there, where I earned three dollars an hour. Uh, after that, I went to uh, Chicago, and people actually helped me were in class, in a class restaurant. Uh, today, uh, I've been in, in the business of construction for about 18 years, where I built uh, dreams of families and business owners throughout the Chicago and around West Indiana. For the last about seven years, I've been involved with uh, international trade business, along with uh, John Pelosi doing some business in Mongolia. So that's about it as far as, you know, what I am, you know, as, as an individual. Of course, you know, I've been married 20 years, you know, to my wonderful wife, and I have a two daughters, uh, Vivian and Sophia. Why do it? Well, as I mentioned before, you know, we should celebrate in us, people that they live here for many generations, and for newcomers like myself, uh, who is, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that our children and future generations keep our Czechoslovakian heritage. I think it's really important, you know, for me, and I hope it might be important, you know, for you, who are the first generation, third, fourth, second, you know, you name it. Uh, you know, as you guys walk inside, you know, this 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 uh, the venue, you know, my goal would be, you know, to display organizations throughout the hallways, you know, at the day of the event. So we can actually not only recruit new members, but we can actually uh, tell our stories. And that gives you a unique opportunity, you know, to kind of mingle and show others, you know, who comes here, you know, what, what we're all about. And of course, there is a little disconnect between new souls and the old souls, right? You know, I think, uh, you know, I always wanted to call things in the right names. And it's a fact that uh, there's not enough newcomers they may want to get involved with the older organizations. So this might give us opportunity, you know, to make new connections and rediscover ourselves. Also, you know, I would like to displace our foods and beverages. You know, we are famous for Czech beer, right? Uh, we are famous, you know, for Nerdiki goulash and etc. So that's also something that I would like to have on displays, you know, throughout the day. I believe that in, in order to be inclusive, we need to uh, share um, calendar events throughout the year, starting, you know, from today going forward, because this is not about just one day on October 27, when my goal is, you know, to be the pinnacle event of, of uh, 2018. But I think every organization throughout the Chicago would deserve to have more people to come to their events. And that's why, you know, I would like to share, you know, the calendar that everybody uh, have the opportunity to kind of mingle and visit one another. Another goal that you know I would like to put together is uh, put it together a brochure, a business directory. You know, again, once a lifetime opportunity, not only involve people in Chicago but also go to different states, getting information as, from as many businesses and people that they want to be in this directory. Uh, Czechs and Slovaks, they are carpenters, they are drivers, doctors, they are bankers. You name it. You know, we for the last you know, 100 years, penetrate every uh, social level from, you know, being, you know, the 
employee to being a business owner or being politicians or anything in between. So I would like to put it on a business directory so it could be recorded for our future generations. This evening will not be a fundraiser for anybody. All the proceeds, at least that's my goal, to make this event as most elegant, sophisticated, and most memorable evening, period. So if any funds are left over, um, collectively, you know, with you all in the room, uh, we would get some sort of, uh, we would get some sort of election, you know, where any excess funds can be donated or used for. So again, want to make sure that the day is the most memorable period. And if, you know, we get good traction, I would like to make this as a, you know, annual event. You know, nothing's really happening, you know, pre, you know, um, holidays and Christmas. And it might be a good idea for people at, at the fall, you know, to get together and just remind ourselves who we are and why we are together. Audience. Um, well, I think audience, as I mentioned to you before, you know, this is a capacity of 1,200 people. Uh, tables about 10 to 12 people, which in, you know, I will get a maybe chance, you know, to go and take a peek, you know, how big the, the main area is, so you guys can judge for yourself. What's important for me is uh, quantity over quantity. I want to make sure that we fill this room with people, but more importantly, we want to fill this room uh, with people that they care. They want to be here. They, uh, and I would rather have here 400 people, but make sure that people enjoy themselves and they come here for the right reason. The dress code for the evening, I would like to make sure that we, you know, we go all tax, tuxedos. Uh, I would like to mimic the 1918, 1920, you know, when uh, women had a, you know, hats, you know, with the feathers. Uh, I'd like to, you know, make sure that guys wear, you know, hats, you know, so we, we can go back, you know, we can go back in time and enjoy, you know, what things were, you know, in 1918. And, you know, if anybody chooses to be a different uh, era, you know, more and more merrier. Uh, the first generation, in my opinion, would be about 45% of the audience, you know, in, in, this, in this venue. Uh, that would be the first commerce, you know, 30 years plus that they have a children. And, you know, from some of the discussions I had with some of the uh, individuals that I know from my construction uh, sphere, uh, people are tired of wearing jeans and saying things over and over. And I don't think there's enough events throughout the year that people can feel uh, themselves being a little bit more elevated from daily day to life. 40% will be the third, third, uh, second, third, and fourth generations and beyond. Uh, and that's why I call them old souls. I like to make sure that, you know, the event is, uh, it's created uh, in direction that everybody gets uh, something out of it. And as you mixing, you know, so many uh, different generations and ages, I think it needs to be somehow, you know, elegant and sophisticated, as I said before, so we can touch, you know, every level of individuals that I'm hoping to attract. 10% Austro-Hungarian and minorities. And here's the reason why. Since 1918, mm -hmm. since the newborn of Czechoslovakia, there were so many, uh, minorities from the, uh, the from the empire that they might feel that they belong to family connections to Slovaks, Czechs, Slovenian, Moravian, Ruthenian. And I think it's important that we reach out to them and make sure that they know that there is something that can uh, bring them together on the October 27th. 5% to being others and uh, the others is our friends of uh, the United States, the friends of uh, you know, like I'm sure that you guys have friends that they are truly American and I might be interested, you know, to see what's going on you know, why are we doing it because, you know, we were the first democracy in Central Europe, right? So I think, you know, the, 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 the deserve certain uh, glory and recognition. So I don't know if you can see it on the map, but, you know, I just want to make sure the location is, you know, somehow clear to everybody. We are about 25 miles west. Uh, from Chicago. Uh, we are about three miles south from 88 and about a mile and a half from 355. Uh, for people that will be traveling from greater distances, there will be two hotels where we can provide a shuttle. One is, you know, to Hyatt a Regency, which is directly north from us. And there is one uh, next to them, which is, uh, I believe that's a holiday, 
know, it's a extended stay America, and there's others, you know, more to the west. Um, so here's how we can participate, how you guys can participate, and what I would sort of expect, you know, if this moves forward. Providing a decoration and setup, you know, is important, and you know, obviously, you need a manpower to do so, and it's on the 26th and 28th. Um, when I talked to Roman uh, from Popchi from UMS, he mentioned that there are many individuals in Chicago area who have had artifacts in their basements, you know, something that they had for years and never had a chance to display it to anybody else. So I would call on to everybody who have anything of this nature to you know, have it and come and share with us. So it could be behind some sort of glass and uh, so people can actually see what we have in our possessions, not something that you have to go to the museum but actually what people uh, own, you know, with, uh, within the Chicago and or beyond. Of course, you know, I needed some sort of personnel, you know, to uh, secure these, you know, valuable artifacts. So that's another uh, part of manpower that would be required. Uh, collaboration and prominent guests. Uh, I, later in the slide, I have some wish list that you know, I like to target, but certainly, um, my wish list now might be your wish list, and I would like to uh, make sure that you guys can give me some feedback on what uh, individual might be, you know, that you might have a reach to, or who you think uh, we should go after. Another thing, you know, I would like to collect the information uh, about uh, individuals who add visibility to, uh, you know, the Czechoslovakian heritage. So it's another, you know, who knows who and what reach you have where. Sponsors ideas? Well, you know, an any event needs sponsors, but I think it's less important today than any other event because I think the cover that my target would be $100 per plate, you know, for this evening on 27 of October 2018, uh, should cover most of the uh, you know, costs for grandiose event. But if we can collect anything beyond, uh, again, Later I will ask you, I will show you, you know, what my longer term vision would be, but I would like to make sure that um, when we reach out to the sponsors, it's not just because we want their money, but we want them to be uh, visible, you know, on a hundred year anniversary. For them it's an opportunity, not because, you know, we need their funds, but because we want to be inclusive of everybody. Uh, I like to also gather context, you know, from anybody who uh, gets involved or who wants to get involved to the context to uh, media, you know, whether it's radio or television or anything of the nature, because my goal would be to make this as most visible, not only to people to Chicago, but of course to the United States. Engaging with the virus, various minorities, as I said before, you know, I want to reach out to Polish, German, Austrian, Hungarian, uh, Ukraine and, and let them know that we're doing this so people can participate. Also, I like to nominate certain people to receive awards. Uh, I think it's important that you know we recognize some of the people. But make no mistake, I don't want to just recognize people that done something uh, because it's their career. I want to recognize people that they actually done something for community. Would be a, a gentleman who has been there and been grinding and grinding for years and never got recognition. I want to, you know, individuals, you know, in this room and beyond to think about people that they they work hard and they never got anything for it. And I believe, you know, I'm not only among you, but there are many people that they just give their heart. And I think, you know, for that, you know, they need the recognition. Uh, of course, I mean to participate in the sales of tickets, you know, for this evening. So if you guys think that this is a good idea, you know, we need to spread the word and make sure that, again, we get the quality over quantity. I want to fill the room with the individuals that they want to be here and they want to feel elevated for the night. Uh, here are three groups uh, of Czechoslovakians slash Americans. Uh, out of these three groups, there are three individuals that are no longer among us. However, the other ones, it would be my wish list to go after. So either they can participate personally, they can come here for the hour of uh, October 27, or they can give us a message, you know, that we can play for everybody in the room. So from the sports, uh, you know, Marian Osa, Gaborci, Stan Mikita, you know, 
he's a, a very you know from Czechoslovakian heritage. Yarmir Jagr, he just moved to Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic. Uh, he uh, you know he might be a great asset you know to our team. Ivan Lendl, Martina Navratilova, Ivan Lisacek, uh, the golden medalist from uh, last uh, Olympic Games, and George Halas. That's a gentleman who started uh, NFL. Uh, he is and his family now owns the uh, Chicago Bears, and so that's something that you know, I would like to reach out to. Politics and law. You know these names. Uh, you know for most probably would be uh, very well known. Madeleine O'Brien, obviously, you know the secretary under uh, President uh, Clinton. John Kasich, uh, Kasich. Uh, uh, Tom Rich, he is, uh, I think he was a director of uh, Homeland Security. Uh, John Kerry, you know, I don't think we need to talk about John Kerry. I think his heritage comes from uh, Northern Moravia. Jesse Ventura, uh, he was uh, he was the uh, gentleman uh, who was a governor of Minnesota. Ivan Katron, uh, John Roberts, he, he was a chief of, chief of justice. Uh, I think he's still a chief of justice. And again, Judy Vartopinka, who passed away, you know, a couple of years ago. Uh, from uh, business and art, Travis Kalasnik, uh, who is a uh, used to be CEO of Uber. Uh, Miloš Forman, uh, director. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, he has some roots in Czechoslovakia. I don't know which ones, but you know, again, that would be a great asset to us. Olina Pozyskova, uh, she is a lady that also was born in, I think, Czechoslovakia, uh, model and actress. Angelina Jolie and his uh, her father, uh, Joe. White, if I pronounce it correctly. Even John Bon Jovi, uh, who would think that he has the Czech roots, right? Uh, Ivan Kral, I think, is a composer. Jason Mraz is a singer and composer. And probably the most famous Czech in, in America is Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. Uh, so, you know, I would like to also go on after his, uh, you know, uh, family and see, you know, if they would have a chance, you know, to kind of help us out, you know, to make the visibility of our Czechs. All these people that I am presenting is not that's just what I come up with. I would certainly look forward to hear from you who, who might be added onto this list. But the reason why these people are important are that we need to show not only our previous generations, but our children and children, you know, going forward and our future generations, that anything is possible. We can all come up, you know, and be anything that we want. And showcasing individuals at this level would certainly give us a hope, not for us, but for our children and others. So, you know, that's that's kind of my kind of angle on this part. Here are the promotional materials. Again, this is a work of Arnold Boshe, who loves me tremendously. Uh, we'd love to have some shirts and, and pins made uh, that will be gifts, you know, throughout uh, the evening of 27. So, here's the program. Uh, on October 26, you know, I would certainly need, uh, you know, manpower, you know, to put together the tables, booth, decoration, you know, test audio and etc. October 27th, we need to finish up what we, we couldn't, couldn't make uh, happen the, the day before. This uh, facility would be uh, just up for us on 27th. I still cannot guarantee that on 26th would be fully open so we can do whatever we can. So it's something that you would have to work, you know, uh, at the day and through the managements. And obviously the more people we get here, you know, the more, you know, leverage we get, you know, to get the 26 as well. And the uh, 20, uh, 27, uh, my goal would be to start the program around 3.30. And again, these, these timelines can change based on, you know, what things will happen eventually. But I would like to uh, start the event with a historic lecture from a competent person, which would be some professor or somebody who knows the story for people that might get interested before the main uh, you know, commencement at 5 p.m. And the, uh, the event would sort of, uh, it would sort of display the history from you know, Austro-Hungarian Empire all the way to uh, today's day. And then a 30 minutes performance with Emma and Drea, which is, uh, there was our young ladies from Czech Republic that they have some recitals from uh, Kapravala and Martinu from the era 1930s. Uh, the doors would open at 5 o'clock. Uh, people would walk, walk through the whole days, visit the tables that I was describing earlier, that people would get, you know, wine, uh, beer, you know, I would build in a golden pheasant, so we kind of go 50 50 on the slow. I can drink beer, and again, you know, it's something that we can certainly talk about. Appetizers, meet and greet, 
Uh, it would be certain like a classical music performance, you know, at the hallways before we get you know to the big hall, and then uh, pictures by photographer. And uh, I would like to create a wall of fame or some sort of uh, curtain where the sponsors would be displayed, where individuals and families can actually take a picture, and right after the picture, they can sign a guest book with a certain message, something that can go down to history that we all can hear and participate in. 6 p.m. Uh, I think that's uh, something that uh, uh, between 6 and 7, you know, people start slowly moving with the beer and the wine. At this point, beer and wine, I don't want to start with the heavy alcohol, you know, that early, just because uh, my goal would be that we start streaming at 3.30. Whether technology allows, I don't know just yet, but certainly my goal would be that we start streaming online at 3.30, go all the way to 10.30 in the evening. So if we make this as of the pinnacle event of 2018, uh, I'm sure that a lot of people will be able to attend, not only from Chicago, uh, hopefully it will get sold out, but uh, people from you know different states and maybe even Czech and Slovaks can watch you know what's going on at the end. And uh, so the, you know I would welcome people at about five, you know six o'clock. I think the national anthems, uh, anthems uh, early on would be uh, you know the, the original you know anthem not necessarily separated and something that we can collaborate and you know discuss and then our single single is a song from uh, you know there was a favorite song of uh, which I think should be part of you know the first uh, presentation and the opening um, my goal would be that you know the presidents of uh, organizations on um, you and any other who want to decide to participate would be on the stage and we would sort of have an interaction for 20, 30 minutes. So, you know, my goal would be to kind of be between the uh, audience and we would start asking questions. So it's not uh, just a monologue of individual, but it's a collaboration and having a dialogue between organizations, their, their respective, you know, uh, leaders and people in the audience. And I think that's what will keep the people engaged. And, you know, certainly, Superior audio needs to be, you know, part of the entire evening, so people get, uh, you know, they, they get, you know, what they need to get versus being, you know, besides the corners, and they they won't be able to understand what's going on. Uh, you know, you know, we'll have about two screens, probably larger on either side of the podium, where you know I would like to uh, show not only the sponsors, but I like to say, uh, take a picture. I would, I would like to present the pictures that have been taken throughout the year. You know, whether it's a Slovak event or Czech or Bohemian Lawyer Association, they take a pictures. I like to, throughout, you know, the first part of the presentation, I like to be on the wall. So individuals throughout, you know, the Chicago and elsewhere can actually see some of the highlights or highlights, perhaps some of the moments throughout the 2018. Uh, certainly, I like to, you know, uh, honor special guests. And again, I need your help, you know, to know, you know, who these people will be and, uh, you know, how we can, you know, make them special for them evening. At seven, uh, we would do a short summary of the history, you know, for the last hundred years or so. And uh, again, it will be competent person who can talk about it, not to necessarily bore people, you know, uh, for a long time, but we would summarize some of the uh, uh, main uh, events throughout the last hundred years, not just at the depth, you know, that we had, you know, at 3.30, but something that people can refresh their memories and kind of take something away from the evening. Uh, at the evening, you know, that will be a give back, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to uh, create a give back for every individual to take it home, which would be the directory uh, and some of the gifts from possibly some sponsors. And then performance, you know, throughout every session would be obviously determined uh, based on collaboration of all. Uh, 730. I uh, would think we would start with salads and soups. Uh, again, you know, it would be different performance from different organizations. Uh, Eight o'clock, meal to be served, wine on table, beer station uh, to be open. Um, again, we will we'll prevent from heavy liquor, liquor, you know, for later in the evening. And then, you know, here's uh, some of the ideas that I would like. You know, I would like, you know, Zibalovka from Slovaks uh, to be part of it. Um, and then the dancing will sort of start right after dinner between 9 and 10, or it would probably go all the way to the 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, at this point, at 9 o'clock, you know, at 8.30, you know, I would open up the bar with the heavy liquor, which is be locked up, I could say, and, and 
etc. Um, and then he would turn in from you know the classical music more to the DJ, so people can hear some of the hits of uh, excuse me the seventies to uh, you know two thousand. Originally, I wanted to you know have you know all the participants or the organization sign the pledge, but you know this morning I scratched it because I think it's more important that people look at each other's eyes and, and do the handshake and say, hey, I'll be there, and, and one another can count on it. So I think no pledge. It's a handshake and just uh, make sure that we are on board. Uh, here is a promise that you know I'll, I want to you know give to everybody uh, that my goal over the next you know eight months or so, uh, eight six, would be that I would like to visit personally every organization you know from you know all of these regions and let them know what we're doing so they can you know either say, hey, we want to help you, or hey, we want to display it in, in our website, or I just want to make sure that we are all in Chicago and beyond aware of what, what we're doing. Um, I also want to present this idea to politicians, Chicago aldermen, and city mayors. I think there are about 30 plus uh, major cities. Uh, they are probably have more than you know 25,000 people. I would visit every single mayor office in this Chicago area to let them know what we're doing so they know that um, Czechoslovakian heritage is not forgotten. Uh, engaging with local and overseas media. I think if we collectively get the show on the road, we can reach out to Slovak and Czech medias that they would want it to know what's going on in Chicago and, and beyond. Um, Transparency of funds. Uh, there are two individuals that you know I would uh, hold uh, emphasis, not necessarily accountable, but certainly in charge of any funds that we receive from various don donations or selling of tickets. One will be a CPA, it will be John Pelushu, and I already talked to uh, Michael Jordan, who is a member of Women Lawyer Association, a uh, very trusted individual in, in in the area, and so they would see the uh, allocations and usage of the funds. And at the end of the uh, 28, or maybe not 28, maybe in a week after that when I mean, the dust settles, I would uh, post how the funds were used that we that were collected throughout the, uh, you know, the, the year, selling the tickets, or any donations, so people can understand what was used and what. Because I think there is certain mistrust among, you know, Czechoslovakians in Chicago and that uh, I want to break the barrier. I want to make sure that everybody knows what the funds were used and how they were distributed, period. And so if any funds are left over from this fund, you know, from this, from this, you know, event, the fun event, um, you know, people in this room uh, or people that get eventually involved would get uh, the decision, would, would be asked the questions, you know, where these funds would be, uh, pointed to or delivered to or donated to. Whether it's a ch uh, church or shelters, or, you know, uh, I know there was a couple that they're trying to make a movie for, you know, for Czechoslovakian heritage. So the majority won't go away. My long-term uh, vision would be to start a fund possibly where distress, distressed families be because of a death or serious injuries or illness can uh, get certainly help, you know, for the first, you know, couple weeks. And then I would also would like to make sure that there will be individuals, uh, you know, mothers and fathers, that would sign up, that they can help to cook meals or can uh, uh, create a breakfast, you know, for children. Or fathers can prepare or fall snow, because there's nothing here, as far as I know, and you know, I've been here only 20 years, but I need to make sure that we create something that can serve to all of us when certain things hit us unexpectedly. Well, not only I want to thank you because you know you guys have to drive, you know, this is the second weekend we have tons of snow. Um, the graphics again were done by Mari Goshek who generously donated this time. And uh, here's the date, you know, when I wanted to start, you know, when I want to do this event, there's the address, you know, of this of this event. Uh, the 
before you guys ask me any questions, um, I wanted to kind of invite you all here because I have a little present for you. Um, so, come on, come, everybody come. Do you have another one? No. I think it's a, it's a champagne, and here's, here's the reason why. Um, I think whether this idea succeeds or fails, um, okay. I want to make sure that we all celebrate this moment because, to be honest with you, it was a quite, uh, uh, <coughs> it was a quite uh, a work, you know, to get everybody for lasting a couple of weeks over here to uh, to get together and even con consider something at this nature. Sure, I just wanted to kind of give you one more thing. Uh, just, you know, like not only people in here in this room, but you know, elsewhere, uh, because I'm taking this seriously. You know, I will personally donate $10,000, you know, to this event, and I will challenge everybody to, you know, match me or go beyond because, you know, again, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. We're going to do this. All right, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. That's a good one.